Let's look over there. Guys, there is blue whale. Blue whales, Balanoptera musculus, typically live socially in groups ranging from small to large. They are often found swimming alongside several other individuals, although they can also be encountered alone at times. Blue whale groups can consist of a few to several dozen individuals. This helps them in foraging for food and protecting themselves from predators. Guys, this is shark. Sharks have a special characteristic, namely their large snouts and sharp teeth. There are many species of sharks and the largest is Rhynchodon typus which measures around 12 meters. Shark food is plankton and other small fish. This is octopus. Octopuses can change color and pattern. When an aggressive male octopus is about to attack another octopus, he will often darken, rise from the sea floor, and spread his arms in a way that increases his size. Sometimes he would lift his coat, the entire back of his body, over his head. There is hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan, you know. Hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. Wow! There is jellyfish. All types of jellyfish have nematocysts or stinging structures. However, the strength of their sting can vary greatly depending on the species. The most poisonous jellyfish in the world is a type of cubozoa which is capable of killing an adult human with one sting, in just a few minutes. They carry enough venom to kill more than 60 humans. Guys! There is starfish. Starfish survive through several methods, including regeneration, sexual reproduction, and the ability to change the color of their bodies. They also utilize their bumpy exoskeletons to protect themselves from predators and move using a water vascular system called the ambulacral system. Wow guys this is lemon shark. Usually the names of sharks in the open sea have the meaning fierce or strong. However, the name Lemon Shark may sound a little strange to our ears because the name is far from being fierce from the shark family. The name of the Lemon Shark comes from the characteristics of its skin and fins. Guys! There is Lobster. Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. Wow guys! There is puffer fish. Puffer fish can also release poison from their hearts that can kill 30 adults. Anyone who is exposed to this poison will experience muscle paralysis, dizziness, heart failure and even death. It is not surprising that this fish is the second most poisonous animal in the world. Subscribe guys! Look guys! There are a lot of fish here. Wow guys, there is hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark, Sperna SPP, possesses several adaptations that aid in their survival in the marine environment. Their distinctive physical characteristics, such as the hammer-shaped head, assist in maneuvering and detecting prey. Additionally, their powerful swimming abilities and fast swimming speed enable them to hunt for prey and evade potential predators.
Wow! This is Gurnard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gurnard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gurnard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. Guys, this is Blue Spotted Ray. Blue Spotted Rays are natural prey for hammerhead sharks, bottlenose dolphins, and orca whales. So they protect themselves using the sting on their tail. The sting contains low levels of venom, which is not fatal if stung in non-vital organs and does not have a specific allergic syndrome. Wow! There is Spotted Eagle Ray. The spotted eagle ray has a flat disc shape, with a blue or black color with white spots on top and a white lower body, and a distinctive deep snout like a duck's beak. The tail is longer than other rays and may have two to six venomous spines. The pectoral. Guys! This is squid. Squids have the extraordinary ability to change the color and pattern of their bodies. This is not only for the attractive appearance, but also as a form of communication with other squid. These color changes can include pattern shape, color intensity, and can even be used for camouflage. Wow guys! This is Large Mouth Bass. Large Mouth Bass, also known as the Queensland Grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. There is dolphin guys. Apart from killing other animals to survive, dolphins have mysterious killing motivations. Dolphins kill other mammals in droves, using their beaks as clubs, and slashing other animals with their rows of sharp teeth. While other animals kill to eat their prey, dolphins have a desire to kill that is unrelated to the need for food. Guys! This is Ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Subscribe guys! Look guys! There are a lot of fish here. There is Mosasaurus. The size of the Mosasaurus has been debated for years, after it was first discovered in 2021. The agreed length is around 15m and the weight is 10 tons, but this is debatable because there are no complete fossils that reach that size. Guys! This is Moray Eel. Moray eels are nocturnal animals or what are usually called animals that are always active at night, while during the day moray eels always spend time living in the crevices of coral reefs. Moray eels are included in the carnivorous animal group because they are predators who often hunt marine animals. There is garfish. Alligators are very calm fish, if you get the chance to see one. They will appear to be floating or submerged in water. However, don't be fooled, this is how they hunt. They won't move until a fish startles them and comes close. The stunned target will suddenly be attacked by an alligator fish which will lunge and grab it with hundreds of sharp teeth. There is clownfish. Unlike most animal species, for clownfish looking after and caring for their young is not the mother's job, but the father's job. The main male not only fertilizes, but he even prepares a place for the female so she can lay her eggs safely. 
After that, the father will look after the eggs and clean the nest of dirt. Wow guys! This is Decapodiforms. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Gulparel. Gulpar eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. Guys! This is crab. Some types of crabs will reproduce by standing. If the copulation process is complete, the male crab will guard the female crab for some time. Later the female crab will produce eggs which can reach up to 20,000 eggs. Even so, female crabs will only lay eggs once in their lifetime. Thank you for watching guys.